Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel, Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about uh, referred pain. So, the exact definition of referred pain is the pain which originates in the visceral organ, but it is not felt in the visceral organ, instead felt in some other somatic structure which is supplied by the same neural segment is known as referred pain. Examples of referred pain include the pain of the cardiac ischemia felt in the neck and down the left shoulder and the arm. So the visceral organ is the heart, but the pain is felt in the somatic structure. So the pain is referred to this somatic structure and pain due to the stone in the lower part of the ureter is usually referred to the corresponding testis and the inner thigh. Another example of referred pain is the inflammation of the diaphragm secondary to severe cholecystitis which produces pain at the tip of the shoulder. Now we move on to the term which is called as the dermatomal rule. So pain from the visceral organ is usually referred to a structure with common embryonic origin and hence is innervated by a common neural segment. This principle is called as the dermatomal rule. That is the visceral organ and the somatic structure both are from a common embryonic origin and so they are innervated by a common neural segment. Like for example heart and the left arm both have the same segmental origin. That is why cardiac ischemia is pain is felt in the left arm and kidney and testis also develop from the same primitive urogenital ridge. So they have a they are innervated by a common neural segment and this is called as the dermatomal rule. When we talk about uh, the theories of referred pain, two theories have been put forward. The first theory is the convergence theory. The primary sensory neuron from the somatic structure and the visceral organ both converge onto a single second order neuron in the ascending tract. So you can see here the somatic pain fibers and the visceral pain fibers from the visceral organ and the somatic structure both converge onto the same second order sensory neuron which is carried to the brain via the spinothalamic tract. So there is convergence of the neurons onto the same second order neuron. Now uh, when a painful stimulus arises in the visceral receptors or from the visceral organ, so the brain is unable to distinguish the visceral signals whether it is coming from the viscera or whether it is coming from the somatic receptors. So it is unable to distinguish the visceral signals from the signals arising from the somatic receptors. Signals arising from the somatic receptors are more common than the visceral signals. So the brain interprets the pain as coming from the somatic regions rather than the viscera. This theory is called as the convergence theory. The second theory is the facilitation theory. There exists a collateral connection from the visceral efferents to the dorsal horn neurons receiving pain impulses from the somatic structure. So you can see there is a collateral from the visceral afferents to the dorsal horn neurons which is receiving the pain impulses from the somatic structures. So uh, there is, whenever there is increased activity of the visceral afferents like in case of um, the involvement of the viscera, the pain fibers are activated uh, and they produce excitatory postsynaptic potentials and increase the excitability of the neurons of the somatic structures. So the visceral pain fibers facilitate the pain fibers of coming from the somatic structure. This is called as the facilitation theory. And thank you very much for watching uh, the video and please subscribe to my channel Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology for more videos.